Hello and welcome to my channel. You've been asking to see an update on the 30 day challenge. This Bible? Yes, I've been doing it. Yes, I've been ticking off my list. I've been dating them as I've been doing them. But what you will notice is I'm only human. And humans go a bit wobbly sometimes. And between the 12th and 13th to the 16th of the month, I went a bit wobbly. So I didn't actually manage days on end. Does that make sense? Day after the day. But I am still doing that whole day in the day in the main. And um, so I thought I'd just bring you what I've done. Now, you saw it in bits. You saw it with the Bible tabs. Well, now they're all in. You saw it with the date tabs, which are up on the top. Clearly, now they're all in. You saw the little packs of stickers. And what they were for, as you can see what's happening, what you do is you read through, but you're not reading word for word because you just never get there in a, in a day. It's a lot to read. And even I found, I'm not the fastest of readers, but I'm managing this. But I can't do it if I do word for word. The idea of reading the Bible in 30 days is to get an overall picture. It's sort of, if you know a bit about your Bible, which I've found helpful, once you get to the books that you know more of, you tend to be going faster because you're just picking out the highlights rather than word for word. But the actual little tabs these ones, they come into play because you literally don't want to be stopping every five minutes and highlighting something because that's going to slow you down. I saw one um, on YouTube that says it, it takes up three hours of reading a day. I've not done three hours and I'm not the fastest. Um, it's usually about an hour to an hour and a half for me to get through one of the day's readings. Um, now I sit, I get up first thing in the morning, nice and early. I sit in my chair in my craft room, uh, which Alice is sat in at the moment. And that's where I do my reading. It's when it, the house is quiet, there's nothing else on, there's nothing going on. No phones are gonna go off, no TV, no doorbell. It's me and the word. And that's how I do it, but that's that's me. Anyway, so what do I do? I put I put my pictures in. I've already used one pack of little tabs. I'm on my second pack of pack of tabs. You can see um, where am I up to? I put the I've got this has got a double ribbon in it. So what I do, I put one ribbon when I start the day. That's eleven days worth. And then I'd put the next one in when I finish the day. Because then what I can do is go back and if there's bits I want to highlight, that I've stuck a tab on and I want to highlight it. Or if I want to put a little note up there, I can because I've gone back on it. But I'm not letting putting tabs on slow me down any. But let's go through this. So I have been dressing it as I would. Next page. There we go. Some artwork. Some tigers and lions. What else we got? Oh, some cutouts. Some fussy cuts. Which I can still get behind and read. But they're stuck in. It's all help and guidance and what have you. How to read it and a preface and then 
formats and then we get into the Old Testament. Got some artwork in it to brighten it up. I thought just because it's a, a reading plan, I wanted to actually have it nice and bright as well. Leopard that time to go in on Genesis. And as you make your way through the reading, you will see that I come and, I, and it's something that's spoken to me. It may be a couple of words, it may be a sentence, it may be a paragraph, but it's spoken to me, so it wanted highlighting. So once I've done the day, I go back and then I mark out what was speaking to me because I've left the little note or the little tab to where I wanted it. So let's go through. Day two comes in there, which is the um, in, in Genesis from chapter 43. And away you go again. So we keep coming. There's some bits, a bit more artwork, a bit more note taking because I've gone back and I've done that. There was a bigger one that I'd marked up because I wanted more of it. And like me, I've gone for different highlighters, different coloured highlighters. Let me spin around. There we go. They are the Studio Series Bible Highlighters off of Amazon. And they're a waxy sort of top. Can you see this? Waxy sort of top. And they come in a pack of different colours. So that means I can do different colours in here. Let's go through. Is day three. I'm trying to find you some more artwork or notations. And again, down the bottom here, I've gone back and wrote some more about that I want to actually write and highlight to myself. So it's not that you're not taking any notice of it. Picture, writing's out. It's that you're allowing yourself to speed read. But put your little stickies in because of things that will say, oh, take notice, oh, take notice, sticky, sticky, sticky. And I have to keep flipping back to the front <laughs> to get my stickies out and put them where I need them. As I say, I'm going through and I'm up to, I've gone through these and Samuels and Ruth and more artwork, more notes more stickies I've gone back to to put bits in but it isn't over complicated not every bit talks to me just odd bits that talk to me and I put them in and I'll put artwork in to just give it a bit of colour as it's going and I'm, I'm loving this it's very different it's very something to do. And I've noticed that, yes, there is repetitive stuff in there as well, but that, that's fine. I can do that. So, of course, tomorrow I'm on day 12. So one ribbon will stay there so that I can then read it through, mark where I want, when I've done the day, come back and do the highlighting or any notes that I want to take on it. There is artwork every now and again. And then there's a bit I found. I thought, I like that. That says, can you read this? I ne I'm i never parting with this. As in this particular Bible. Because it is my read through in 30 days challenge. And I want to remind myself that I can do a challenge every now and again. More artwork. So there you go. It continues with artwork. With It's ready in its days. Even up to the New Testament. There we go again. More pussycats and more artwork. He looks sneaky, doesn't he? It's like, I'm looking at you, I'm watching you. <laughs> and away you go again on the New Testament. 
then you get all the way through skip a bit I've got another fussy cut bear that moves so I can just still read the page then you get the maps in this one which is lovely some more tigers haven't overdone the pictures and a nice one on the back look at him winking he's saying yeah you've done it and that's what I liked but it is a smashing little bible it's it's a nice size hand handy as I say I sit with it in the corner and Alice comes and sits on my lap the cat and uh, we read away. So there was an update for you on this bit of a project. Don't forget, if you'd like this particular printout, which is of the 30 days, which I'd copied off of Cat Woods, I admit, drop me an email. I'll leave my email address in the box below. Just drop me an email and I'll ping it straight back to you. You've got your own reading plan then. Then I was thinking, well, how else could you do it? And I thought, well, if you wanted to do it by 60 days, you could, in my mind, is thinking. And it says, well, if I take the number of pages in the book, divide that by 60, and it'll tell me how many pages make up a day. And then you have to count through your pages and mark them at the different days. So you could do it over any number of months or years, as long as you... Divide your pages by the number of days you want to read it. And away you go. It was just that this one was done and set out that Kat had on hers. So I copied that. And it's working so far. And it's a lovely little Bible as well to keep. It's going to be pretty full of these. Will I keep them on there? I don't know if I can stick them back and reuse them. Not sure about that. But it's quite nice being all coloured up. Shows me where all my bits have said, take notice of me. So there we go. The update for you. I'm about to start tomorrow, day 12. And I have been going, I did... Um, one, two, three, four days in a row there. So that's a good one. What threw me, actually, um, number one son, bless him, is afraid of the dentist. And he said, Mum, you have to come with me. Like, number one son is six foot something tall, obviously a lot taller than I am. And you say, yes, OK, son, I'll take you to the dentist. <laughs> but we took him, but of course his appointment was eight o'clock in the morning. So there wasn't time for the Bible reading. And by the time we'd all come home, it, it, we dropped him at his flat and we'd come home. I wasn't actually in the proper mood to sit down and take in what I needed to take in. So I thought, no, I'll miss the day. Because it meant more to me to read it when I want to read it, not read it just because oh, I've got to do it. I've got a day. I must do it. No, that's the wrong way to do it. Do it when you want to. And don't beat yourself up if you miss a day or two. It's not. That's not the idea. The idea is to get the hang of what's going on. It's like an overview of the whole Bible. But it's pretty good. Can you see that? I do like the way it's nibbling away at this. And I will do it. I'll do it in 30 days but not just necessarily a 30 day, one month sort of thing. You know what I mean. So, there you go. Hope you enjoy the update. Do follow along. Do subscribe. Do subscribe. I said subscribe twice then, didn't I? Do give me a thumbs up. Try that. Do subscribe. Take care. Stay safe. Enjoy your Bibles. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.